I'm Lonnie Brooks, and Adriana and I want to thank all of you who've been joining us in prayer for my sister Lucy, who's been struggling with some really serious and life-threatening health issues. We're pleased to report to you that she's had a dramatic and highly unexpected turn for the better, and we want you to hear that story, especially since it reinforces the power of prayer in our lives. Lucy has been battling through a series of diagnoses of malignancies, starting with breast cancer, proceeding to lung cancer, and moving on to brain cancer. Then about three months ago, she suffered a severely acute attack of pneumonia that put her in the hospital. At that time, her doctors told her and her son that she had two choices that both were equally grim and likely fatal. They said that they could treat her pneumonia, but to do so, they'd have to discontinue her chemotherapy that was keeping her cancers in check, in which case the cancers were likely to kill her. Or they could continue her chemotherapy, in which case she'd likely die from the untreated pneumonia. Lucy chose to be treated for the pneumonia, and to the great surprise of her caregivers, after two weeks of such treatment, she was able to walk out of the hospital and return home. One month later, late last week in fact, her oncologist told her he wanted to do a complete body scan to determine the status of her cancers so he could prescribe what sort of chemotherapy to resume, and she had that scan. On Tuesday of this week, he called and said, there is no more cancer, so there is no need for you to resume chemotherapy. We're grateful for your prayers, and we're grateful that Lucy has received this good news, which we're pleased to share with you. We're grateful to our St. John staff members who have allowed us to make this witness to the power of prayer in our lives.